Hello YouTube, that Riggs guy here, and today is Wednesday, which means I have another review for you guys. Today I will be reviewing The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Now I know some of you might be wondering why I'm deciding to review this book since a lot of people read it in high school. I'm reviewing this because I didn't get to read it in high school. Most of my graduating class got, got the chance to read this book, but I was one of 20 kids who didn't get the opportunity to read it in class. Way to go AP classes! So anyway, I've wanted to read it for a while, so I might as well do a review about it. The Catcher in the Rye, written by J.D. Salinger, was published in the year 1951. The book follows the viewpoint of Holden Caulfield, who tells you a story about his past. Due to the first person viewpoint of the novel, you get to read Holden's thoughts on whatever he, he's talking about at that moment, in addition to the dialogue. The events in the novel take place over a couple of days, and never is there a dull moment in Holden Caulfield's life. Alright, plot summary done. On to thought. This was a slow read for me. I There were times I found myself reading the same sentence over and over again because I couldn't go, get into the book. Other times while reading the book, I couldn't put it down. Some things I liked about the book. Holden's personality. He has such a sarcastic personality that I, I really enjoyed reading it throughout the book. He could be talking all serious one moment in a deep intellectual way and then all of a sudden, sarcasm and it's funny. Another thing I liked about reading the book was because I was reading it for my own enjoyment. I don't think I would have liked the book that much if I was required to have read it in an English class. In that regards, I was able to read the book because it's a book, not to read it and then overanalyze every aspect of the book. I didn't have to think too much of the way Holden acts towards other people. I didn't have to find some deep significance in that. I could just read it and accept it. I think this type of reading the reading for enjoyment is very important. It allows us to read books whenever we want because we feel like it. It allows us to read books we want to read, not books that we're required to read. It, and it's because of the fact that I read the book on my own that I would recommend the book for someone who hasn't read the book or won't be reading it in their high school class. Even if you're going to be reading it in a class, I would still recommend reading it before you do so in class so that way you get to read the book for fun and not then have to analyze everything you're reading. And if you've already read the book in class because you're required to, I'd, I would recommend picking it up again and looking at it in a different viewpoint, not one that you have to analyze everything, but one reading it for fun. That's pretty much all I have to say about this book. Until next time, see ya. Hey, you! If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe!